and this video is literally going to tackle everything that you have asked me mm -mm, it's not a big deal no honey my love babe it is a big deal can i get a hallelujah hallelujah yes. God, ha 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 yes. ha that is that that is what you're trying to avoid money like that's what you're trying not to watch like you know like what friend friend don't bore me don't bore me I'm Amu and thank you so much for tuning in to Becoming Amu, period. Listen, I don't want to waste too much time today, but there's a few things that I need to get out of the way. Firstly, welcome to all my new subscribers, to all my new besties. Wow, what a number. Now I, I can say, <laughs> I'm so 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 excited that i have new besties on board that you just felt comfortable enough to hit that subscribe button listen this platform is all about expressing yourself it's all about learning growing making mistakes becoming but becoming graciously and through the grace of god so i hope you feel so welcome here another thing that i just want to talk about is Firstly, I'm so grateful to God for just the impact that he's made with the previous video. It has touched so many lives. I've heard so many stories and testimonies and I'm so blessed. I'm so humbled. Um, I feel so much gratitude, but I also just want to thank you guys so much for playing your part, for being faithful in what you have been trusted with and just sharing the video to as many people as you could because you can find out that you shared that video and someone you know might have clicked on that video and actually found help. So I'm so, so grateful. Please continue to do the same even with this video because it's going to be very informative and it's going to help a lot of people. Now, without any further waste of time, let's get into the video. Okay, guys. So I have decided to make this video because they have been quite a number of you guys that have asked me about my practical experiences my practical um tools that i have used in overcoming pornography and i know that this video can help a lot of you out there there's a lot of messages that i haven't yet responded to but i feel like this video right here will respond to that so if you have sent me a message and i haven't responded to it it's probably because i knew i was making this video and this video it is literally going to tackle everything that you have asked me. So, please make sure to check the description down, the description box down below because I will be posting links to um, sermons that I will refer to on here. I'll be posting links to certain sources that I might have gotten my information from because I won't be. I won't be um, categorizing and telling y'all exactly where I'm getting my sources from right here, but they will be in the description box down below. And, and there's been quite a lot of people that have asked me to make a WhatsApp group, a support WhatsApp group. So I'm still praying on it as we speak right now. But if by the time I send this video, I have um, decided upon it, it will also be down in the description box down below. So make sure to check that out. Okay, let's get into it. I am deciding to treat this like a war. Like war, because it is war, you know? And that's the um, terminology, that's the diction I've been going with from the first video. So let's just treat it like war. And we know that we have already won the war. This is so vital for us to understand that the war has already been won. Not because we're good, not because we're mighty, but because God is gracious. So this war has already been won by Christ when he 
died on that cross and rose again. He defeated death. He defeated sin. So we are victorious. Now we need to walk in that victory. And I will just be taking you through step-by-step -step processes that I went through, that I did to walk in the victory that Christ has won for me, right? Um, with this battle with pornography. So the first thing in walking in this victory is understanding what the devil uses to keep you in the sin and what the devil uses to cage you to the sin, you know? And the first one, you have to understand that the devil is a liar, that he is the father of lies. So the first lie the devil will tell you, and the biggest one he tells people, this is like, I saw someone commented, um, it's as if, it's as if the devil just uses a template and it literally is because he uses the same thing over and over and over again and he traps us in it. And one of the biggest things he uses and says is, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's not a big deal. Everyone is doing it. All teenagers are doing it. Wherever you look, people are doing it. Ah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not having sex. I'm just watching people have sex. So mm -mm, it's not a big deal. No, honey, my love, babe, it is a big deal. It is a huge deal. And I'll tell you the reasons why. Firstly, 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 3 tells us that it is God's will that we be sanctified, that we abstain from sexual immorality. Now, a lot of people think that sexual immorality only falls within the borders of having sex outside of marriage. And although that is, that does form part of sexual immorality, sexual immorality is a greater spectrum than just premarital sex. Sexual immorality refers to lust and acting upon lust and doing such. Doing such is actually indulging in sexual immorality. And as Christians, we cannot, we cannot do that. Our bodies are the temple of God. This is the temple in which the Holy Spirit resides. So whenever we are taking in such content and whenever we are consuming such content, we are defiling, we are making dirty the place that God dwells. And that is a big deal. Another reason it's a big deal, watching pornography is not loving to those who are in the act of it. Although you might think, no man, I'm paying their rent by viewing. It is not loving. So many pornographic stars have come out saying that they've been abused um through all of that they've been taught all of that so this is not loving and as christians the core of who we are is love god is love meaning as children of god we should resemble who god is which is love and we are not being loving to people to those who are doing all of that by continuing to view such by continuing to indulge in that so every time you are also tempted just remember am i being loving is this a thing that god would approve of you know um and then another reason i've got so many reasons i've just got them listed another reason is because pornography feeds into objectification like i said i will be linking down all the sources i have down in the description box below but i don't we can already we already know this so many people have come out so many people have mentioned how pornography literally feeds into objectification of people and that also adds on to it's not loving it's not a loving thing to do it's not okay even forget forget christianity even if you're not a christian it's not okay to view people as objects it that that's not okay and that is what starts to lead to abusive behaviors in sexual matters okay there's another study that shows that it also causes erectile dysfunctions. It's also, also, just another side note. You don't have to go far. You can literally go back to the comments in my video down, in my uh, previous video, which I'll also link down below, and you will see 
the effect that it's had on so many people besides the spiritual effect that it'll obviously have but just the deteriorating effect it has on people's bodies on people's mentalities on people's mental health just it's not okay and the devil will always lie to you and let and tell you that it's okay it's not a big deal but it really is and you need to stop you need to stop believing the devil's lies another thing that the devil will lie to us about is the devil will say you'll never be forgiven once you fall into that sin you might as well just continue i i touched on this in my previous video but he starts making it feel like it's part of your identity like it's who you are now you are not a child of god anymore you are back to being a sinner you are not welcomed you are not loved you are not cherished by god and that is also a lie the word of God says nothing can separate us from the love of God. And although that can be so hard to believe, trust me, I know, I know. It can be extremely hard to believe that that's true. It is. It's true. God's love is not like human love. God's love is really unconditional. So even if you fell into it 50 times, and this is not, this is not an excuse to keep on doing it, but it's something to help you get up when you're down, when you have fallen, when you are hopeless always remember god's love is true god's love is unconditional and god's love never fails only people who've dealt with pornography can understand that this is something that the devil can really lie to you about and keep you in the sin for for so long because he will he will push on it but you need to understand that those are lies and how to counteract and how to get an antidote for the lies of the devil is by filling yourself with the truth of God, with the word of God, with the power that the God, that the word of God gives you. Because it also says in the word that no temptation has overcome you, no test has overcome you except what is common to mankind. And it says, God is faithful. He will not let you be tested beyond what you can bear. But with that, he will also give you a way out. Amen. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> no, guys, the word of God is true and it's alive. And it's so life-giving. In such moments when you feel helpless and when you feel like nothing you can say or do can make up, Start speaking the word of God because it is really alive and it is true and it is active. So when you start speaking that, you know that maybe my words are lies, but the word of God could never lie. Okay? Could never lie. Now, now I'm going to get into exactly what you need to start doing to completely, completely free yourself of this horrible addiction of this horrible sin okay okay so now we're getting into things to do firstly i wrote admit you have a problem that's what i did and that's what you should do for as long as you can't admit that you have a problem for as long as you're gonna keep on with your mentality that it's not a big deal continue but you're just gonna fall into the cycle and let me tell you something if it hasn't fallen if it hasn't gotten to the stage of um of addiction it will get there for as long as you are denying the fact that this is a problem that needs to be fixed for as long as you are denying help for as long as you don't want to humble yourself and say i have sinned i have fallen short of the glory of god i have sinned i have a problem that i need to fix it will get there and it will get worse if it has gotten to addiction it'll get even worse the devil is trying to kill you guys don't play don't underestimate the devil the biggest thing people do is underestimate the devil the devil is always at work he's always at work he's he he definitely will not defeat us because we are children of god but until we admit we need help we will be sucked and we will be just submerged in the sin do you understand you need to admit it's like also when you become a christian god is not gonna force himself on you you have to 
you have to realize that you're a sinner and then you have to realize that you have fallen short of the glory of God. Then you have to admit that you are a sinner to God and you have to admit that you need saving and he saves you. He doesn't force himself. So even now he won't force help upon you. Why? Why will I, if someone has cancer, if someone has cancer and they don't want to admit that they have cancer, they're not going to get treated. It's just going to get worse and it'll just spread throughout the whole body because you don't want to admit it. So until you admit it, you will not get help. Got it? Got it. Cool. So now we've admitted it. What do we do? We admit, when we admit to ourselves that we have a problem, we go to God and we repent. Because our biggest thing as Christians, like, it's not how many times we sin, but it's how many times we, like, it's dishonoring God. It's more than the sin itself. It's the dishonoring God that eats at us because we are children of God. We just want to see God happy with us. We just want to see God content and proud of us. So if we don't feel and if we see that what we're doing is not honoring to God, our biggest and most important thing is to go to God and to repent. When we repent, here's a problem that we do sometimes. We repent and we leave it there. We're like, I'm sorry, God. No, you can't. You have to repent and then you have to go to God and be like, Lord, I need you. Guide me. Help me. Show me how to leave this because it's hard. I've tried. I've tried on my own and I've failed. I need your guidance. I need you to help me. Because when I started doing that, when I went to God and I stopped just apologizing and started realizing I need him as well to get out of the sin, it's when he showed me people I can go to and I can confide in and people that can help me. It's when he showed me and led me into freedom. So make sure that you are not just repenting, but you're also asking for the wisdom and guidance of God because God gives wisdom and he gives it graciously that's what his word says so make sure you're doing that as well thirdly this one i got from pastor craig rochelle whose sermons i'm going to link down below because those helped me so much those helped me a lot guys those helped me a lot please make sure even if you're watching one a day that's enough make sure you're watching that because those really really helped me he said count the cost and that is so important. When I started counting the cost and started sitting and being like, so counting the cost is basically, I sit and I'm like, okay, my the cost is my, not my salvation because I can never lose my salvation, but it's my relationship with God because it is stagnating my relationship with God. The cost is my time. My time is being depleted by this thing. The cost is my friendships and my relationships with family because every time i do this i isolate myself from people count the cost and realize how expensive it is for you to be in this addiction for you to have this addiction it's like someone who's addicted to drugs i'm gonna go back there when they start counting my family i'm hurting my family i'm doing this i'm doing that when you start understanding the cost it is to fall into the sin and to have this addiction then you start realizing i need to pull up myself and that also becomes something that even when you're tempted to go back to that sin you always count the cost is it worth it by doing this i'm stagnating my relationship with god is it worth it by doing this i'm dishonoring the one who loves me the most is it worth it by doing this i'm taking time away from school i'm is it worth it? So in those times that you are tempted, because you will get tempted, even me till today, I've, I'm free. I am free from this thing, but I still get tempted. But in my temptation, I need to count the cost. I need, I had to get to a place where I was like, enough is enough. I am sick of this thing. I am sick of this thing controlling me, controlling what time I do what, when I do what, because when it calls, I need to answer. I'm sick of that. You're not going to have me like that because I am not your slave. I am not a slave to sin anymore. Understand. That's why in the beginning I said, understand that 
God that Christ has won the victory already. So him winning the victory means you are not a slave to sin anymore. So you need to act as one who's been freed from sin. So I also think I am sick. I needed to get to a place where I'm like, I'm tired. I'm tired of being a slave to sin. I'm tired. And when you get to that place, that's when you're counting the cost. That is so important. Start to count the cost. Write it down if you have to. Write down what this thing is costing you. And every time you're tempted, think of this. But sometimes that is not enough. And so that's why I've got a list and a long list of other things that you can do. Because we are, we are winning this. The devil will... This dude? This... He will not win. He will not win. Wait. And check, and check, and check. I'm full of quad. I don't want to get mad. <laughs> I do not want to get mad. So, yes, count the cost. Enough is enough. Tell yourself that I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired. I am tired. Then we get to something that I mentioned in the previous one, but I'll just elaborate more triggers triggers are so important find any any article any article search right now on your google how to stop porn addiction how to whatever and any article you will find will tell you probably the first point on the things is find the triggers it is so important to know your triggers i had someone else tell me no you have to control yourself blah 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 all of that I'll come, I'll come back to the verse that I used. The Bible says, if your one arm causes you to sin, cut it off. Cut it off. So if you know that these triggers lead you to this, then cut it off. Cut it off. But here's, here's what we do with triggers, right? You identify all your triggers. Identify everything that leads you to that, right? Here's the thing. Not all triggers can be cut off. Not all of them. For example, if I'm a guy... And I'm triggered by a girl in a short skirt. What am I going to do? Because there's 5,000 girls in the world. I go to the mall, there's girls in short skirts. I go to school, there's people in short skirts. I go to wherever, there's girls in short skirts. Am I going to kill all girls in short skirts so that I don't get triggered? No. Those type of triggers, you can't, you can't control. Those type of triggers are the one that you need to now pray that God helps you realize what the root of it is so that you can uproot it. Those type of triggers are the ones that you now need to gain self-control over. But the triggers that you can control, the triggers that you can remove, remove. Like I did. I, like I said, there are many guys, I have friends who watch K-dramas K or whatever just for the sake of not seeing the vulgar that is on TV right now. There are many shows that you can watch that are free of that. But the problem is y'all want to watch everything that's trending. No. Unfortunately, when you're struggling with this, you need to realize that what's trending is not what's great for me. I'm not going to go and watch 365 Days just because everyone's watching it and it's trending. No. Because that is going to... And then let alone lead you straight to it. That is that. That is what you're trying to avoid, man. Like, that's what you're trying not to watch. Like, you know, like, what? No, no, I'm not going to do that. You know, like, it's that. You need to, you need to. If you, if you're like, no, I can control myself. Okay, that's one yeah. again. Guys, understand. You know, when you start understanding that the wars you fight are not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual principalities you start understanding that the devil will use whatever little small hole he has whatever small door you open for the devil he will utilize it so make sure you're closing any door that could be opened for the devil make sure that that relationship that makes you sexed or whatever you're stopping it or you're limiting that access that you have or that conversation that you make sure that you're not allowing any regardless of how small the hole is you're not allowing the devil to enter why i said you have to be sick of it you have to understand that enough is enough once you are at that level where you're like i'm sick of this i'm sick of being disgusted with myself once you're at that level you are okay with cutting anything off that leads you to that path and that's exactly where you need to be until you're there you'll be fine you'll play with the devil you'll be okay with the devil playing around because we're now we are who's controller 
you can control yourself and this okay no 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 but genuinely guys the you have to be sick of it you have to understand that this is war that this is war the devil's not playing you think the devil enjoys seeing you prosper you you think the devil enjoys seeing you win the war no he doesn't so when he sees that you're working hard he will work harder so you need to make sure that you're closing any door that you might be allowing for him to enter you need to make sure of that i cannot stress it enough i cannot stress it enough i cannot stress it enough another thing i want to say about triggers sometimes when you when you realize what your triggers are also try and go deeper into what your triggers are because another thing i've learned through research is that sometimes triggers are formed by deeper wounds like there's something deeper that leads you to pornography sometimes it's heartbreak sometimes it's depression sometimes you have to realize the root of it because at the end of the day what's the use of cutting if you're trying to uproot a flower if you're trying to if there's a i don't know a sunflower growing in your in your garden and you don't want sunflowers in your garden you're not just gonna cut the the flower itself because it's just gonna up grow again you have to literally uproot the stem uproot the roots and sometimes that's what triggers are or that's what's causing you this um repetitive action back into pornography it's because of the deeper issues because sometimes you might not realize you might have to sit down and think but sometimes when you start thinking about that one girl who broke your heart the way you avoid it is by going to pornography. Sometimes when you start thinking about your father that left you, the way you avoid it is by going to pornography. Sometimes when you start thinking about your grandmother that died, the way you avoid dealing with that is by going to pornography. And that leads a habit. That starts a habit. So sometimes it's generally that. It's not making excuses for it, but it's understanding the cause so you can deal with the cause. Because once you deal with the cause, once you are comfortable with being uncomfortable, once you are comfortable and you are fixing the root, then it will be harder for you to fall back into pornography again. So sometimes that's your trigger and you need to realize that. So make sure you're writing down your triggers. Make sure you're also also thinking deeper what is it that's leading you there sometimes it's nothing sometimes we'll pop and you walk and that's it that happens um like me most of the time but sometimes it's generally deeper things that you need to actually go through and talk about if you need to talk about them with someone or just deal with you know and then the next one pre-plan Pre-plan is an important one. This I also got from Pastor Craig Rochelle of Life Church from one of his um, uh, sermons, right? Pre-planning. This is what pre-planning is. Okay, so now I've uprooted and I've removed all my triggers that I can and I've admitted that I've had a problem to God and um, all of that. What am I going to do? Because it happens. Sometimes even after all of that, you still get triggered. You still get tempted. Um, by maybe the things that you couldn't control. So what am I going to do when I'm tempted? This is pre-planning. You're literally planning. Okay, when I'm tempted, and these are ways that have worked for me, so I'm going to tell you. When I'm tempted, I'm going to put down my phone and I'm going to go start doing chores. I've seen some... I I, I got it, to be honest, I got it from, a re, from some research, um, from some article that said, like, literally just doing chores or running or taking a jog or whatever, that can help. So... Like, if I know that I'm tempted right now, I put my phone down wherever I am and I walk out of the house, even if I look crazy doing it. You know, sometimes it's at night though. What do I do in those times? If I'm triggered at night and I can't walk out of the house, I'm going to start playing gospel. Guys, this might seem like a crazy... This might seem like a crazy thing, man. But gospel... Gospel works, bro. Gospel works. Like... It's like you're shocking your system. It's like you're shocking the demons. They're like, hey, man. You know, like, they're just like, hey, man. Okay, I'm going to insert that. Hey, man. Oh. Hey, man. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's generally like you're shocking the, the demons. Because they're just like, um, what is she doing? You're literally 
using praise as your weapon start singing gospel like start singing gospel or start praying or start reading a verse generally like that works try it it seems crazy right now but try it just try it try it when you're tempted try it try it and see it really works it shocks the systems like okay thank you gospel mind you know i don't know so yeah i can't because now i'm in communication with my father like stuff like that it really like it's as if it, it, it gets the armies of heaven to just stand, you know? But yeah, it really works. It really works. I've tried it, I know. So try it. Um, for other people, cold showers work. For boys mostly, I've heard, um, take a cold shower. Like literally, cold showers work. Whether it's in the morning, in the night, um, whenever summer winter just take a cold shower that that can work but such stuff also just research for yourself like just practical things that you can do when you feel tempted like and it works trust me trust me it works um oh oh i wrote really oh i wrote mm, mm, mm. guys i'm giving you the tools these ones nah these these, these ones are it for real um Something I said in my previous video, and I'll say again, and all pastors say, say this, and all things, even Christian, non-Christian sides, every side will tell you, tell someone that you trust. I will say, go pray about it. Pray about it, because with me, I was also scared, guys. I did genuinely, like, I've got great friends around me, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't make it less scary to tell them, yeah, I'm someone, a girl in that like on top of that that deals with pornography it's not easy it's not easy to tell your friends to tell someone it's not i know but pray about it honestly for me genuinely god when i prayed about it god showed me the person to tell and it's not that i was i was not scared to tell them i was but i went and they were so welcoming they were so Guys, it was really, it's really God saying, like, pray about it. Don't undermine the power of prayer. And God wants you to tell a fellow believer, a fellow, someone else who's gone through it. And honestly, one of the reasons I'm praying about this um, support group is that I do understand that some people genuinely don't have anyone that they can confide in. And so this support group could be that. So I hope... Um, once I've prayed about it, I'm for it. And then I can just put it, like, just check right now. If it's in the description down be box down below, then tap on the link because, yeah, it'll really help. I'll probably put it in my community tab as well. But, yeah, telling someone there's so much power in bringing what's done in the dark to light. There is a lot of power. And, oh, I can't, I can't tell you enough how much that helped me. With that being said, I am forever going to be a rep of ever accountable bro they don't pay me they will they probably won't even see this but i'm forever going to be a rep of ever accountable because ever accountable is a great app 190 per month um for an individual it's really not a lot for some it is to be fair but honestly like if you can please get that please get that please because you can add all your digits all your um digits all your devices you can add your phone your tablet your laptop whatever um and if you're really sick of it you will add all of it and you won't try to look for ways to finesse the system because you're trying to stop this this addiction of yours you know so no honestly i rip it like genuinely genuinely um there's also covenant eyes which is also a good one there's quite a lot of these accountability um apps that can help you get porn blockers as well on your phone um do everything it takes guys like y'all don't understand i think you need to really be at the place where it's like enough is enough where you're really willing to do whatever it takes to stay away from it i was i was fed up i was done i was like listen and some food and some food like you've you've controlled my life for too long i'm done and you really have to be at that place even if it's been two months that you've been watching porn guys like understand from my story from everybody else's story that this thing is demonic that this thing is demonic 
and you don't want it to like grab a hold of you so even if it's been a day even if it's been two months be heartful be enough is enough you know because until you're that like nothing is gonna change nothing is gonna change so so yeah um there's that and then oh these last two ones are so important last two then i'm done if if you made it this far just finish the video don't bump bit friend 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 don't bore me don't bore me <laughs> okay guys um these last two so the first one of the last two is start a bible plan you version bible plan is another one that i'm always rep i'm always rep you version bible app whether they're paying me whether they're not whether like no i'm always gonna rep you version bible app you version bible app is just great for a christian whether you're two seconds within the faith or forever in the faith like it has daily refresh it has this it has that but the most important one especially for this video is it has bible plans so it's like devotionals daily that you can do and they've got so many they've got uh porn for women they've got um like not porn for women but <laughs> no guys no they've got like freeing yourself from addiction from board like for women it's a whole 90 day plan guys please please they've got that they've got just plans just so many plans guys that can help they've got breaking free they've got such if you just literally literally if you just type there's a search bar there if you just type pornography it's gonna show you there um so many plans hopefully i can put a screen recording right here or in the next clip that you can see what it does i think i'm gonna do that for real because i'm always rep you version app always so do get a bible plan they really help they help you also uproot the maybe your triggers the deep deep triggers they help you to just get firm again with god they help you in what to do they give you the verses that will uplift you 10 out of 10 definitely recommend too good too good the last one but definitely not least actually one of the most important things is to keep yourself busy with god's plan with god's purpose this is a winner because i said in the previous one in my previous video that um boredom leads to sin and i saw someone saying an idle mind is the devil's playground so with this how you counteract this is by keeping busy with god's plan if you don't know god's plan for your life specifically that's okay because god has a plan for everyone's life right there's the specific ones then there's the general things that we all should do like if you're generally focused on being kind to people because that's what god says if you're generally focused generally focus on being generous if you if you start for example right now it's winter say get a project for yourself say okay cool i want to start a project for the homeless i want to do this keep yourself busy you know when you're so busy with things of purpose with things that add value you don't have time for other things and you you treat it so preciously that you don't want anything to disrupt or break that you know so that is also so so good and i recommend that 100 percent like keep yourself busy with god's plan and honestly through doing god's there were words for it i just forgot but it's basically the known will of god and the unknown will of god so the no sometimes we don't know most of the times we don't know like the unknown will of god until it's revealed to us like that like those specifics like my purpose like should i be i don't know an artist or lawyer or a preacher or whatever those type of laws um wills i mean but then there's the will of god that is known to us like god's will is for us to abstain sexual uh immorality god's will is for us to be kind is to be gracious god's will is for us to be good and generous like those type of wills if once you start like focusing on that on god's will for your life um whether it's known or unknown and you just 
have your mind wrapped around it like okay how can i show kindness today every day you wake up how can i do this like when you have your mind wrapped around the will of god for your life and just pleasing god in that day then it becomes easier to avoid um sexual immorality and to avoid it specifically in this case um pornography i have given you so much and so much more and more and more and more again of just the things that you can do that can help you avoid sexual immorality that can help you avoid pornography that can help you be free from pornography and these are things that are tested and tried in my life if this could work for me like there's nothing special about me except what god has obviously made special about me like. <laughs> but generally like if it could work for me it can work for you too i hope it was very informative if you did find it informative please like and please share because we need this video out to as many people as well there's so many people that asked for my advice that i know can benefit from this video um please yeah guys and also if i don't respond i'm receiving an influx of messages i'm not even lying to you and i'm so grateful don't get me wrong i'm very grateful and i'm very honored to do that but i might not be able to get to some some i might only get to like three weeks later please be patient with me please 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 i'm genuinely trying to get to all of them um as quickly as i can also just not trying to overwhelm myself um but yeah yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed the video best make sure you turn on your post notification bells and you're updated because soon oh i've got i've got so many exciting things for this channel guys goodbye <laughs> bye